Yo, what's poppin' everybody? I'm Jess Dior. This is MBTV and it's all about growth. We out here at Baby's All Right in Brooklyn. Let's make this shit a movie. Yee! <laughs> I've been to New York City at least three, four, five times a year for the last five years. Yeah. And this is the first motherfucking time I play here. Yeah. Y'all believe that shit? This is the first time I played in New York City. So everybody here, y'all my family. MBTV, your girl Sky. Right now I'm sitting here with Jez Dior. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Now, I have a lot of things I want to ask you, but the first thing that stood out automatically was your hair. It's a little different. Talk to me about the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I woke up this morning and started cutting my shit off. Uh, I just, I don't know. I felt like I had this epiphany. I needed I needed change. A new tour, new single coming out today, came out today. Just fuck it, you know, let's go. So I just started cutting my braids off. I feel you. It, it looks good. How does it feel? It feels good. It's the first time I can rub my head. Like, I haven't felt my head in a long time, you know? I don't have to go get braided every week. I don't have to sleep with a do-rag no more, you know? It's just like, life is nice. I can touch my head again. It's freeing. I would have felt, yeah, it's really freeing, yeah. I can take a shower and get my hair wet. You know what I mean? Shampoo my head today. It's crazy, yeah. Feels nice. And talking and speaking of the tour, how does it feel to be going out on tour? Um, how do you feel as an artist? And then what can the fans look forward to? I love it. Touring for me is really fun to, uh, you know, the, the best part about it right now, at least, is meeting people every night. You know, I get to meet new people every day and I love people. Um, so it's good fun. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, fans can just expect a good ass show. Uh, it's fun to be playing with a live band now. You know, we used to not be able to afford it and now we can, which is fucking tight. Um, and yeah, it's just a good ass time. And it's, it, it's fun to just travel around and, and uh, see new places and meet new people. Nice. And then the new single um, that you have with Jackson. Talk to me about the concept behind the single. Um, where were you at with it when you when you made that song? So Nobody Knows is uh, basically a love story, you know? Um, and the song came about very organically, uh, but it's special because it was the first day that Jackson and I met each other. We made that song within the first few hours. Um, yeah, we recorded it at Jackson's house in his living room which is crazy, we weren't in the studio or anything. It was me, Chris Wallace, Jackson, uh, my best friend Ozzy was there uh, taking pictures and stuff. Um, and yeah, it just came about really organically. We just clicked from from the second we met each other. Chris introed us uh, and was like, you guys would really vibe with each other and we did. Um, and then yeah, the craziest thing about the song, honestly, is there's a dog bark in the second verse uh, the line is, I think about your pussy when I'm with my dog. Ooh, ooh, the dog barked. I swear to God, I'm not playing any games. The dog barked at that time in while we were recording it. We didn't move it, nothing, and we just kept it in there. Like, that's not no place shit. It was just perfect. It happened, and we were all shook. Like, how did that happen at that time? And it did, but yeah, that's the craziest thing about the song, but yeah. This shit's called Can't Help Myself. I wanna see you motherfuckers go crazy. Hands up, everybody, before this shit starts. Pull this shit out one time, you already? Throw that fucking money to the sky, to the sky. Make it fly, make it fly. Watch it drop, watch it drop, yeah. Talk to us about the new sound. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's quite. I, I wouldn't quite say it's a new sound because I think that my sound is ever changing, and I, I and I want to stress that to everybody that I, I talk to about my music because I never want to be put in a box, and I never want uh, to have a sort of cap or, or a hood over my stuff because I make music based on how I feel. Um, when I wake up in the morning, if I'm sad, if I'm happy, if I'm you know energetic, whatever, my music is going to sound like how I feel. Um, so what nobody knows, that's how I was feeling that day. With cocaine, sober, all the all the songs I've been putting out, that's how I was feeling that day. So my music will always change um, and be eclectic and uh, have a variation of sounds. Um, so yeah, that's that's, me. that's it's always gonna be me. I'm all, my music is always gonna be like that. Who are some artists that you 
want to work with and and some artists that have influenced your sound and your style um I want to work with Liam Gallagher from Oasis first and foremost very very badly it's my my, my favorite band of all time is Oasis and I love Liam and his new project um, Eminem influenced me deeply uh, from the jump that's why I make music because of M um, I love but I love all sorts of shit I love Kings of Leon a lot I love Drake a lot I love you know I, I, like I'm listening to Lil Baby and Gunna all the time um, so just I have a wide range of stuff that I'm listening to that inspire me but yeah I'm you know I love Nirvana the Rolling Stones so I'm all over the place yo what's poppin everybody I'm Jess Dior this is MBTV and it's all about growth